Hello children, today in this video we are going to do the remaining question of exercise 5.2 that is question 1, 2 and 3 we will do of exercise 5.2. So first of all question 1, reduce the given fractions into its lowest terms. Lowest terms means whatever is the fraction given to you, you have to check whether it is coming, these two numbers are coming in one table or not. If they are coming, divide them with that table. Now here 2 and 8 is given to you, 2 by 8. 2 and 8 are coming in some table, they are coming in the table of 2. So divide 2 by 2 and 8 also by 2. So when you will divide 2 by 2, you will get 1. When you will divide 8 by 2, you will get 4. So this will be our lowest fraction. Next is 12 by 42. Now 12 and 42 are coming in the table of 6. So 12 divided by 6 and 42 divided by 6. When you will divide 12 by 6, you will get 2. And when you will divide 42 by 6, you will get 7. Next is 17 by 34. As 17 and 34, both are coming in the table of 17. So divide them with a table of 17. 17 divided by 17, 1. 34 divided by 17 is 2. Next children, fourth part, 56 by 32. Both are coming in the table of 8. 56 divided by 8, 7. And 32 divided by 8 is 4. Last part of this question. 108 by 50. 108 divided by 2 is 54. And 50 divided by 2 is 25. So these are all lowest fractions. Next question of this exercise. Which fraction is greater? Now there are two fractions given to you. You have to tell which one is the greater. So very easy method to do this is. Write both the fractions. Cross multiply them. 2 7s are 14 and 5 6s are 30. Now which one is greater? 14 or 30? 30 is greater than 14. So instead of 14 I will write 2 by 5 and instead of 30 I will write 6 by 7 and I will put this sign of less than over here in between them. Second question, second part of this question 3 by 8 or 2 by 9. Again do the cross multiplication 3 9s are 27 and 2 8s are 16. So which one is greater? 27 is greater than 16. Instead of 27, we will write the first fraction which is 3 by 8. Greater than sign. Instead of 16, write the second fraction 2 by 9. Next children, third part of this question. 10 by 13 or 2 by 15. So do the cross multiplication again. 10 into 15 is 150. And 13 into 2 is 26. Which one is greater? 150 is greater than 26. Instead of 150, write 10 by 13. Instead of 26, write 2 by 15. And put the sign of greater than. Next part, 7 by 9 or 5 by 6. So, again cross multiply. 7 by 9 cross multiply. 5 by 6. 7, 6 are 42. 9 5s are 45. Which one is greater? 45 is greater than 42. Instead of 42 write 7 by 9 greater than sign. Instead of 45 write 5 by 6. So last a uh, third question of this exercise. Which fraction is smaller? 7 by 12 or 12 by 13. Now we have to tell which one is the smaller. So 7 by 12, 12 by 13. Cross multiply. 7 into 13, 91. 12 into 12, 144. So which one is smaller? 91 is smaller. So put the sign of smaller then. Again write the same fraction. 7 by 12, less than 12 by 13. Next, 4 by 23 or 5 by 46. Cross multiplication, 4 into 46, 184. 23 into 5, 115. So which one is smaller? 115 is smaller. So put the smaller then sign. So we will write 4 by 23, next sign of greater than and 5 by 46. So 5 by 46 is less than 4 by 23. 9 by 11 or 3 by 13, cross multiply, 9 3 is a 117, 11 3 is a 33. 33 is smaller than 117. Write the fraction 9 by 11, 3 by 13. Put the sign of less than. Last part. 5 by 24 or 1 by 14. So cross multiply. 5 into 14 70. And 24 into 1 is 24. So 24 is less than 70. Now you will write 1 by 14. 
and 5 by 24. So 1 by 14 is less than 5 by 24. Children, we have done question number 4th and 5th in the previous video. So complete this 5th chapter in your notebooks with the pen. Thank you children.